Hey, what is good guys? My name is DeFree and welcome back to yet another Dragon Ball Super discussion video in which today we will be talking about the Saiyan from Universe 6 known as Kabe Kaba Cabbage applesauce, I don't know, Kaba, you know that guy. The guy that said that he was not able to go Super Saiyan and as a matter of fact had never seen one a day in his life. Now, if you guys have seen the preview for the next upcoming episode next week, you see in the preview while Vegeta is fighting Kaba that he is ultimately pounding on Kaba and Kaba just finds a way to go Super Saiyan. Now, immediately upon first glance, I was like, huh, that's a little interesting. I know that he said, like I said, he had never seen the form, he wasn't accustomed to it, he didn't know how to transform. He said that's not something they do in his universe. And that that makes sense. I always kind of detest and hated the, the notion that Super Saiyan is an anger-based transformation because after the initial Super Saiyans that we see in the series, it kind of gets left in the dust. You look at Goten and Trunks, they just kind of have it. You look at Super Saiyan 2 and three that becomes something you can achieve by training unless you say that the initial super saiyan one form being able to break the barrier and get to super saiyan just in general is rage induced then i guess that's something but then you kind of look at once again goten and trunks so i really don't know but back on topic here a lot of people kind of looked at cave and were like nah he was lying wow that sucks and i'm like well we don't necessarily know if he was lying it actually looks a lot to me like he was kind of forced into that and I, I think a lot of that comes from the dialogue Goku said he was like well Vegeta you're back to your older ways it really just flat out looks like freaking Vegeta is kicking Cave's butt and Cave is just like completely unable to fight back and that actually is really good development for him in my opinion I'm not gonna you know have judgments on it yet until I see the episode and actually know what happens but from outside looking in right now I think that's really cool to say you know he just unlocked this for the first time and now he can go back to his universe and say hey guys you know this is something we all can do we can achieve this level of power we can all do this I, I just really think that will be awesome and also to kind of oh see this is where storytelling comes in and it's just great I'm gonna talk about this in my next video you guys will see it but then you can have Goku and Vegeta because they want to go there anyway you can have these guys go there and just be like hey guys yeah this is Super Saiyan this is Super Saiyan 2 this is 3 this is God it, it just could be so amazing if Toriyama and, and Toei and all these guys handle it appropriately but you know kind of back on topic I am perfectly fine with that but a lot of people like I said they kind of looked at Frost and were like well Frost was a liar he said he was a good guy but he wasn't a good guy so how do we know Cave isn't lying Honestly, if Cave is lying, I'm going to be completely honest with you. That's the only way they could screw this over. That's the only way they could fuck this up is if Cave is lying and he knew the whole time. But that, that's the only way. That's the worst possible direction because as I said, it could be so great if he didn't know. It could lead to so many. There's so many different ways this arc could go. That's why you guys see me do critical videos and rants and discussions and all that stuff. A lot of them with Mark. But it, it kind of hurts me sometimes because I'm like, man this show could be so much better than it truly is but honestly i want to know you guys' thoughts down below about cave in his super saiyan form if you think that that was something that vegeta forced him into i think it, it seemed pretty apparent but i just wanted to kind of clear the air and voice my opinions on it i hope that you guys enjoy this video i hope that you guys subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel because we do this shit all the time that is it for me guys i'll see you guys next time peace out